In today's Deal Desk, we are taking a closer look at what is driving private equity firms into public deals. Joining us, Bloomberg News reporter Christina Aleshi and Roger Hoyt. Roger is the managing director at Molis & Company. He has over 20 years investment banking experience, including stints at Morgan Stanley, SG Cowan, and Societe Generale. So thank you both of us for joining us here. What type of activity are you seeing right now, Roger? Because Christina, with her great reporting all year, we've been talking about just how hard it is right. to find the exit strategy. So the page is turning? Well, it's, it's, it's actually, it's been an exciting time. I think for those of us that do business with private equity firms, I think um, there's a ton of capital out there uh, ready to be invested. Corporations have emerged from a very difficult time in 2008 and 2009. Um, the businesses are humming, they're growing again. Certain of those managers are frustrated by the fact that the stock market hasn't rewarded them for the growth that they're showing in their businesses. And the confluence of that, putting those private equity firms together with those, uh, with those corporations, that's really what, what we do. So is this like the match.com heaven as we go into the new year? <laughs> A little bit, yeah. I mean, Roger hit, hit the nail right on the head. He's talking about just the two factors coming together and creating this scenario where deals really work now, and especially in the public to private space where, you know, you really do have frustrated management teams. If you look at the recent deals that Carlisle's done, they've taken over uh, a tech company and a telecommunications company, Conscope and Cine universe, they've paid very high multiples for, for, for those companies. Um, so it is competitive out there. I mean, one of the things that uh, we are kind of seeing is, is increased competition in this area, right? Well, I, I think we're seeing competition. I, I actually, the way I would put it, I, I think it's really returning to basics for both for both management teams so and for private crisis, equity firms. Everybody lost confidence, people, people, a lot of volatility, and now there's sort of exactly, a more stable and I, and environment. Exactly, and I think when you, when you look at the, um, the best opportunities, the best opportunities in a cycle to buy a business, it's at the beginning of the cycle. So private equity firms are hungry to do these deals. When you put them together with a frustrated management team that feels like they're performing in terms of their business, but they can't get rewarded for that in the public markets, it creates an opportunity for a transaction. The transactions are hard. They're, they're, they're difficult to get done. And Christina, you gave me a great statistic. You said the busiest quarter since 2007, 200 billion? Well, in 2007, we saw quarters that reached about $200 billion in deal volume. Um, that's not what it's at right now. But if you look at the fourth quarter of 2007, which was what sort of where we trailed off a little bit, that was about $80 billion. So yeah, we're, we have we're a great approaching right now, so we're, people can see. Yeah, we're, we're not quite there yet, but but we can see that maybe in the in the coming quarters. Um, but the the debt markets really have to stay where where they are because private equity firms really rely. On, on leverage to do these deals and it makes up a major component of the overall value of the deal. So the debt markets have to stay where they are. Valuations uh, in, the, in the stock market, if you look, we did a comparison of stock price versus cash flow and if you compare cash flow to stock price in a ratio, basically you see that it's, it, it's actually not a bad time to be buying cash flow. Um, so, so, Roger, very quick last question here. Does the payment structure have to change? I mean, do PE firms need to generate 20% anymore? That's, that's a great, it's a great question, I think. Look, that for the entirety of the private equity business. Do investors want more? It, it, in, investors are, they invest in private equity because private equity has over a 30 or 40 year period produced superior returns to um, various different uh, other alternatives to invest in. So also, uh, I, don't th I, don't, I don't predict, sig predict significant change in changes terms of the to, the, to the structure. There's also alternatives to public, to, to private. It's not every management uh, team has to has to sell out, right? Well, a it, it, uh, different topic, but when, when we're sitting with corporate um, CEOs and corporate boards, they really do have alternatives to, to transactions like this. And, and oftentimes, the best transaction to do is, is, is to just to stay the course and be patient. Roger, thanks so much. Roger Hoyt joining us there along with Bloomberg's own Christina Aleshi.